We starting already? Oh, well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the Grace Kids Time. I was just getting ready to share a few thoughts with you from that book. For this week's challenge, let me share with you, and I really hope that many of you will be involved this time. So here's the challenge. What activity you enjoy to do the most with your family? Or where has the Lord been good to you today? Can you draw a picture? Maybe some of you cannot draw. Maybe you can write a poem or a song. Send it to me by next Wednesday noon and I will decide on a winner. The winner will be able to pick up one item for themselves from this bookstore when you are back in church. Before I let you go, let me share with you a few thoughts to make your heart sing. When you open the windows, do you have to beg the fresh air to come in? Or when you open the curtains in the morning, do you have to argue with the sun to make it shine into your room? How silly. You just open the windows and the air flows in. You just open the curtains and the sun shines in. The Bible says it's like that with God's peace. It will flow into your hearts if we let it in. Let's think for a moment. Why are people usually unhappy? Now, think about yourself. Why are you unhappy sometimes? You might worry or be anxious about something. Is there anything troubling you today? Let God's peace flow in like sunshine into a dark room. In Colossians 3.15, the Bible says, let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. How do I do that? How do I let God's peace to flow in? When you wake up in the morning, you can listen to whatever your thoughts are telling you, just like you see in this picture. Dark clouds, dark thoughts. Maybe they are reminding you of something bad you did the day before. Maybe they are making you scared of something you have to do tomorrow. Or maybe you are worried getting sick. You can listen and feel horrible and be unhappy, worried and anxious. Or you can talk back. Talk to yourself. You can remind yourself of what is true and who you are and, what God, and who God is and what He has done. You can say something like, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. Psalm 42. That's what King David said. Are you listening to yourself today or talking to yourself? Go and ask your parents what other things you can tell yourself today not to be sad or unhappy. And hey, don't be sad, be glad. Talk to you again next week.